We want to talk about another big story we have been following today, and that, of course, is the forecast. The temperature dropped. Snow flurries are falling now in central Ohio. And, of course, due to what is making its way through the area, Storm Team 4 issued a weather alert day today. Now, of course, due to the weather alert day, we are bringing you some team coverage. Storm Team 4 Chief Meteorologist Dave Mazza is tracking what is pushing across the area. And our Kyle Beachy is monitoring road conditions firsthand as drivers commute their way home. Let's start our team coverage with uh, Mr. Maz and what we can expect for the next few hours when it comes to snow totals. Yeah, we're going to see more of that snow starting to pile up across the area tonight on this weather alert day. You notice on Live Viper radar, we've got a lot of these bands of blue. The thicker the blue bands are, the heavier the snow rates are right now that we are dealing with outside. And you notice we're going to continue to watch these kind of pushing into our area over the next hour or two. Snowfall rates right now showing up on radar and the red colors are the heaviest. And you can see this band from about about Delaware over towards Sunbury and up near Centerburg in about an inch an hour of snowfall. Same thing down by Pickerington over towards Buckeye Lake. And then we've got more of this moderate snow at about a third of an inch an hour falling off towards the west of us. But there is a big area of that. So several hours of that is going to accumulate to several inches potentially of snow across the area. The other problem we're dealing with, temperatures now have dropped below freezing. So road surface temperatures are going to continue to fall, meaning snow will start to accumulate on the roads. And speaking of that, our Kyle Beachy is on US 23 up in Delaware County. How are the roads looking out there, Kyle, now that the temperatures are falling? Hey, Dave, the roads are very wet, very wet right now, but the snow's not accumulating a ton on the roads. It seems like the salt is doing its job for the most part. We haven't seen very many slick spots. Let's take a look at what we're seeing now. This is US 23. We're between Lewis Center and Delaware, but just entering into Delaware. And we've seen plenty of traffic, plenty of cars on the road. It's that time of day after all. The road conditions are still okay for the moment, but they continually are getting worse. And I talked to Matt McGuire with ODOT, who's pulled double duty tonight. He's a public information officer, but also going to be in one of the plows treating the snows. Matt says after we've seen a stretch of above average temperatures until recently, that can mean danger on the roads potentially if you don't change your driving habits. When we go long stretches without winter weather, I think I think that is maybe a fair assessment to say that it's easy to fall back into those summer driving habits when the roads are clear and the pavement is dry and then all of a sudden here comes the snow again and it all of a sudden you find yourself driving a little faster than you should for the conditions, not paying attention to what's going on around you and you can end up in trouble really quick. And we've seen plow trucks out on the roads already across the area and visibility is going down. And McGuire did say that with the temperatures staying relatively around the freezing range, all that salt and stuff they're using to treat the roads should be pretty effective tonight. Local for you on US 23 in Delaware, I'm Kyle Beachy, NBC4. Kyle, thanks, sir. We will check back uh, with forecast changing. You're going to want to know what's coming to your neighborhood next. And you can download the Storm Team 4 weather app for free in your app store. Just search NBC4WX. Well,